Hi guys, welcome back. If your company is uh, selling chocolates, juice, each product category needs a separate production line as well as the separate pricing too. So in this case, sales reporting point of view, your data management point of view, in SAP system, we have something uh, is there which is part of our organization structure that is known as your division. So basically division, we can say it is related to our operation. So division can be a product line, a group of products. It's a, a range of services. Also, you can say sales point of view and a distribution module also. So what is the need of this division? So it helps the group of products or for the grouping of the product or the services for our pricing point of view, sales point of view, reporting point of view. So that's why we need the div division. So it is also, you can say, controls our product specific sales and activities. That means this division also have some connection with our sales too. It is also used in your pricing determinations from uh, for your sales point of view. For your sales statistics point of view, also we are going to use business uh, this uh, division. In our uh, master data, in your MM material master data, also we are going to use business. So for example, let's say we have multiple operations, multiple products we are manufacturing or multiple product lines are there. Rather, I can say, for example, we can take a business uh, the division as 01 biscuit, another division we can take chocolate, right? So in this way, we can create multiple divisions for our operation point of view. Now let's add here one or two divisions for our operation point of view. So I have listed here uh, two divisions which we are going to use in our operation. Uh, basically this division will be used in our uh, logistic point of view but uh, in FI we have something called business area. So we are going to use business area and division a connection so that uh, uh, the data flow will be there. Anything we are going to configure whether it is logistic or finance we have a close connection right now. We are configuring one by one but later once we will see the complete hierarchy you will find that everything is connected with each other so in our example i will take a1 as biscuit and a2 is chocolate it's not product it is our product uh, production line product line you can say and this division also we are going to create as uh, or we are going to create under logistic general like we have created plant because division is connected with your mm division is connected with your sales and division also connected with your finance not directly through the business area so let's create these two business uh, uh, these divisions and always you are going to create division with two digit code so i am going to take a1 and a2 so back to our settings so we will go to IMG. So, so far we have created company code. We have created plant. We have created storage locations. So this is our fourth video. So let's check it. So back to our definition. So go to the definition, then go to your logistic general. So where we have created the plant under the sa uh, same, we are going to create here division. So expand it division. And uh, after this plant, it is available. So define copy delete division. Execute define division you can copy from existing also we will create new one so here uh, something already available ignore it so we are going to create new so division will be uh, as per our example we will take a1 and a2 a1 so this will be biscuit and another one will be a2 so this will be chocolate and save it so as we have created then again assignment will be there so let's see the assignment here with reference to this division so go to assignment here expand it go to logistic general so under this logistic general uh, we have assigned plan to company code now here we have a option that uh, business area so this business area as i have not yet created so first let me create the business area let me assign the business area then i will assign the division here but we will do that if any questions with reference to this division will be there so uh, one question can a material belongs to multiple division is it possible no in material master we need to assign the division so that will be there in your uh, um, that means in a, one of a view for example let's say sales view so in sales view of material master we are going to maintain the division which will be there later you will see just for your reference uh, i am going to show you one material which is already there although we are going to create 
so for example let's take one material number here 28 and one view i'm going to take here this is uh, some other settings i'm showing here just to show you this or just to answer these particular questions but later we are going to create for our settings okay so here you will find division is available so you can see here this is home appliance one division is available so the question was there can we assign two divisions can be one material particular belongs to multiple divisions no it is not possible you can assign one division only another question can be what is the use of division in the price difference okay so this is something related to FISD integration so that time I will explain because right now if you are going to assign uh, I will explain you will not able to uh, get it because uh, here we are going to do the price determination with the business